Hi everyone, John Davenport from Fogarabili.com with another Let's Edit video. This week we're going to look at this utility truck that I found abandoned out on one of my hikes. Uh, I have no idea where it came from. I hike here uh, quite regularly and this is just sitting out in the middle of the forest. So I thought I'd take a photo of it and uh, then edit it for you here on a uh, on the uh, Let's Edit series. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do with this photo is try and go a little saturated. I think I like, I've been playing around with it a little, and I think I'm liking the more saturated look. I know um, some people don't like that look, but overall I think it suits this photo well, but uh, you can feel free to argue in the comments below. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I have a whole bunch of different brackets to choose from, and I think what I'm going to do is go with the middle bracket um, and just edit that rather than to go full HDR. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with uh, editing just the middle bracket and see where that goes. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop the highlights down because I want to make sure I get a nice blue sky and I'm going to increase my shadows as much as I can here to really try and bring back some of this foreground. I'm also going to increase the whites and decrease the blacks and that'll help add some contrast back in uh, because what happens is when you use those highlight and shadow sliders especially when you're pushing uh, close to 100 in either direction you start to lose uh, some contrast and you get kind of a almost a muted or muddled look to your blacks or your whites uh, by moving around the white sliders you are able to recover some of that lost detail so I think that's a very good thing to know and then I'm going to increase my exposure now overall I think we've come I mean night and day really between where we started and where we are we're starting to get some detail into the trees here we obviously have the foreground of the truck uh, back into frame so I think we're in good shape I'm going to come down here and I'm going to actually do a little bit of a clone job on some of these shrubs here because they're driving me nuts and I think it's pretty easy to just get rid of them. Um, just a few th little clicks with the uh, clone tool, the Lightroom clone tool, and we'll be in good shape. And this is just a quick and dirty job, you know, for... Um... Oh no... Um, for like a normal edit job I'd spend a lot more time on these but for a quick and dirty job for a video I think this is going to be all that I need to do um, uh, for the most part I think we're good I think I want to get this one kind of more in the same general area here, something like that. Uh, so I think it looks a little better uh, without those little branches in the way there. Now, I mentioned I wanted to go a little saturated on this, so let's uh, do that right now. Let's bump up the saturation, which will help bring more greens into the trees. It'll help uh, really brighten up the oranges from the sun and everything, and I think it will start to look really good good. Um, I'm going to crop in here a little bit on the right hand side I think and maybe even a little bit from the bottom just to kind of position this uh, truck a little bit better. Maybe something like this. Uh, I kind of want that sun a little bit more balanced. So with the truck being so far to the bottom right, I want to get the sun uh, kind of balanced in the photo um, in a good spot. Maybe something like this. It's, you know, cropping is something you can always play around with and move, and it, I think it really helps you to visualize the photograph um, a lot, and, and then it'll help. Uh, in the field with composition and everything. So you'll be able to see these kinds of compositions in frame or in the field. Uh, so I think we're in good shape here. I think if I can try and bring in a, um, 
I want to try and bring in a graduated filter from the bottom right hand side and see if I can get a little bit more recovery. Yep, something like this. That way we're getting a little bit more detail on this front end here. And then I'm going to come in with an adjustment brush on the truck itself. And we'll see what happens here. I'm going to try adding a little bit of clarity here to the truck to really punch up the detail. Maybe a little bit of exposure. No, I don't like the exposure change. A um, little clarity there, though, really helps add a little bit more detail into the the truck itself, which I think I'm liking quite a bit. I'm going to come up here and get the uh, little overhang. And then I think I may come in with a radial filter on the truck itself. And again, this is all just to help draw the viewer's eye. So I'm going to um, reduce the exposure, which will help darken the edges of the frame. And I may see what reducing the clarity just a little bit, which will add a little kind of fake blur. Um, I'm usually not a big fan of that, but I think it'll work pretty well with this particular photo. And I may even add a second radial filter here right on top of the truck. And this one, I'm going to invert and add a little bit of extra exposure here. Um, let me... So we're going to go right on the front of the truck here. Add a little bit of exposure. It's almost going to be like I had, um, you know, if you go really narrow with it, you can almost pretend that you had light source or something that was kind of filling in the front here. Uh, it's, it's tricky to play around with, um, but you can uh, get really creative with the uh, radial filters if you, if you spend a little bit of time using them and stuff. Something like this, I think it adds a little more dimension to that front of the truck, which um, obviously in the uh, before image we almost couldn't even see it, and now it's really in your face and, and punching out in the frame. Um, I may come in here with an adjustment brush and just tone down these highlights just a little bit. Uh, they are kind of getting out of control on the um, side that the sun was really hitting there. Uh, so it's it's kind of just something that you might want to play around with for a while, but once you uh, get into it and get doing a lot of these things, it's a lot of fun. Uh, one thing I just noticed is that with all of that white on the foreground here is my clone job really um, is starting to show as being pretty terrible, so I need to um, kind of fix this a little bit if I if I can, I don't know. I mean, it's this This might be one of those things where it, it'll take a lot more time to go through and really match up everything, but it'd be worth it in the end to get this right because I think those branches there are really a little more distracting. Um, so it'd be worth it, in my opinion anyway, to go through and just clone them out really quickly. Uh, especially if you had the time to do so. But for the sake of this video, I am going to cut it uh, here and just leave it as uh, that little bit right there needs to be kind of cleaned up. Um, you get the idea that the whole point of this uh, video was to kind of draw attention to the front of the truck, really clean up the image and kind of show you what you can really do with uh, with a couple different uh, radial filters, which I've done in the past, but a lot of people like to see things, uh, especially on different photos and different different techniques and stuff. So I thought I'd do that again for you. Um, and then, uh, as I've done in the past, I will be also publishing a video of uh, this week's community edit um, in a couple days. 
Uh, if you haven't taken part in that yet, you can uh, go to, I'll put a link below this video so you can um, jump on over and check out what the community edi editing project on my site is all about. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun and the more people that join, the more successful and the longer that series will go. So uh, please do share it with anyone you uh, think is interested in photography. So thank you for watching this week's Let's Edit video. I will be back again next week with another, uh, another video for you. Uh, bye for now.